What's up guys, today we have Samsung A31 screen replacement. The LCD is broken, so we are going to replace it. Let's remove the SIM card tray first. Now we can start heating the back plastic. Be careful because the back is plastic and not glass. It could melt. So you have to be careful. Unfortunately, I melted the pack. I'm always careful with this. But I don't know. I was thinking about something. And I melted down. We should ask the customer if we can replace it for him. Or if he want discount on the screen price. Whatever he wants, we will do. Let's keep removing the adhesive you can use plastic piece to insert it don't insert on the middle just go in the edges and that's it there is no fingerprint flex cable that we may cut or damage through it but we have a flex cable goes from the sub to the main board and it's on the middle so you have to be careful not to put or insert the plastic tool from the left end to the right end heat whenever you need we got also the the color the white color has been removed from two side i don't know why this happens but this could be happens we are here to fix the device and not to damage anything while we are fixing but everything could be happened during the operation. This is like white paper, so it's removed from the pack plastic. And this is not broken, so we have to put it as, as it was, or if we have a white paint. Anyway, we could just replace the pack, and that's it. Let's remove all the screws from the top and the bottom. SIM card tray is removed. It's important now we we can put our fingernails or any plastic tools in between so we can remove the frame from the housing unplug the battery now we are going to transfer all the pieces from the old to the new one we have the lcd with the frame Unplug flex connected the main to the main board to the sub. Unplug fingerprint flex cable. Remove one screw to the charging flex. We can keep the antenna. Alright. Now remove one black screw to the main board. Now we can detach the board the new screen comes with vibration so we don't need to take it and with the ear speaker so also we don't need to take it You just need to take the battery and that's it remove this sticker then you can put the camera and put the black screw in position put the subboard on position and then we have to remove the fingerprint sensor oh we forgot it
be careful while you are removing the sensor because it's installed with adhesive around it. So let's heat it with the heating gun for 150 Celsius for a few seconds and then we can unplug it or detach it. Be very careful. That's all I can tell you. have green sticker on the screen remove it and then you can put the sensor this is the original screen put the screw on position Let's now take out the battery. Can put adhesive into the syringe and then you can put it under the battery. Then the battery will release and removed easily. We just need to push it a little so then the alcohol will spread in between all the battery. It takes long time, but this is the safety way to remove a battery. You will see that the battery will just remove like a magic. Alright, let's put the battery in. Also connect the flex cable on position. Connect the battery, then we will put the housing. Now put back all screws on position. Let's power the device on to check the device. It's need to be charged. It was empty. All right, it's charging. I need to test the screen if it's okay and it's working without any problem. And then I will continue with my job.
don't know the password of the customer so I'm going just to test the emergency call and all buttons are working and that's it it's original and should be tested I can now continue assembling the device and that's it our job has been done if you have any questions you can just leave it in the comments below and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel we will do something else in the next video peace